Welcome to Ruby Reviews Books. Reviews from a cat who cannot read. From a cat who cannot read. Welcome to Ruby Reviews Beers. Reviews from a cat who cannot read. To Ruby Reviews. To Ruby Reviews Beers. Welcome to Ruby Reviews Beers, because I can't read a book every week. She may not like to booze, but she sure knows her brews. Do you feel it? The changing of the season? The hint of frost, lengthening shadows that come early in the night and linger long into the morning before the face of a retreating sun? Do you catch that gentle waft of nutmeg and cloves in the air? That's right, it's pumpkin spice season. And as it goes with latte drinks, so it goes with beer. Here at Ruby Reviews Beers, we're cashing in on the trend with a face-off between five beers that we're calling Pumpkin Smash. Starting from right to left, our first contestant is the Brown Style Pumpkin Ale by Dogfish Head Craft Brewed Ales. It pours golden brown with a thin head, has a fall spice nose, think cinnamon and allspice, and was brewed to commemorate the Pumpkin Chunkin contest. Next up is the boldly named Pump King by New York Southern Tier. This imperial ale pours light golden with a thin white head. The nose on this beer is sweet, like candied yams or pumpkin pie. It really does embody what you would think of with the pumpkin ale style. In the middle spot is the pumpkin ale by Schlafly of St. Louis. This middle country beer pours darker. Oh, I'm sorry, cat. Is this boring you? No, you're not going to stick around to see it? Well, for the rest of us, it pours a ruby brown and has a roasted malt kind of nose to it. Welcome back, cat. Next up, we have The Fear by Flying Dog. This is the darkest of the five beers we're looking at, and I'm talking real dark, like Starless Night Sky Dark, Guinness Dark, like Killers in the House, The Lights Turned Off Dark. It has a great head, about a finger width tan head that lingers. The nose on it is a little boozy, a little sweet, but also pretty floral. It, it does smell the hoppiest of the five beers. Last up, last but not least, or at least not last yet, is the UFO Unfiltered Pumpkin Ale by Harpoon, because Harpoon has two brands, just to make things confusing. Anyway, this beer pours the lightest in color of all five, but it has, as an unfiltered ale, the cloudiest body. The nose on it is pretty spicy, actually. I'd say second in spiciness to the pumpkin. What's interesting about this lineup is that while each beer is its own take on pumpkin ales, no two are quite alike. But what's the point of a taste off if I tell you that each bottle is its own special little snowflake? Beer is beer, and if these bottles aren't exactly apples to apples in terms of the precise style, we're still going to rate them pumpkin to pumpkin anyway. In terms of first impressions, pumpkin ale is hoppy and spicy, a beer that captures the tastes of fall, if not quite all in on the pumpkin fruit. Pumpkin, on the other hand, is all in and then some. It's sweeter than pumpkin pie, more like pumpkin candy or pumpkin icing. Very, very sweet, with a sudden bitter finish of hops that's out of place, like licorice jelly beans. Schlafly is also on the sweet side, tasting like pie filling or pumpkin cake, with a little bit of spiciness. Not quite balanced, but it helps cut the fruit and malt sweetness on the front end. The Fear is a different beast altogether, tasting more like an imperial ale with pumpkin. Except for the UFO, all these beers are overproofed between 7 and 9%, but while the others mask their potency with spice and fruit notes, the fear embraces it, embellishing its booziness with hops and giving it just enough 
pumpkin to let you know that it's there. In some ways, the outsider, the UFO, is something of a spiced Hefeweizen with only a hint of pumpkin taste. It's there like roast squash, but it seems like they made a Hefeweizen and then dumped in pumpkin at the end to call it something else. In terms of distinct rankings from sweetest to least, we have Schlafly at the top, followed by pumpkin, UFO, then pumpkin, and finally the fear at the bottom. In terms of pumpkin fruit taste, number one is Pumpkin, followed by Schlafly. The fear is in the middle with UFO and dogfish head rounding out the table. Despite its de-emphasis on the pumpkin pie sweetness, I think the pumpkin is actually the most complex of the five, followed by the fear, UFO Schlafly, and well at the bottom is the pumpkin. It really is kind of a one note triumph. Given these factors all together, I have to put Flying Dog and Dogfish Head at the front of the pack. I'd rate each of them maybe a 4 out of 5 and give the edge to the fear between the two. Both beers are really different and I think they stand up in their own right, not just as seasonal fads. Tied in third place at 3 stars apiece, I have the UFO and the Schlafly, with advantage to Harpoon's unfiltered ale. These are more traditional pumpkin beers to me, one heavier on spice while the other emphasizes the fruit sweetness. They're my definition of not bad for the seasonal. From fear to the rear, we have Southern Tier. The pumpkin is well named, but it's also cloying. Two and a half stars at best for me, especially when paired with some of these more multi-dimensional brews. If you really wanna drink a slice of pumpkin pie, don't overlook this beer. But if you're like me, and you don't exactly love a dessert beer, your money is better spent elsewhere. Overall, I'd give pumpkin style beers a straight three out of five, which is pretty generous. Though there are some standouts, most beers are content to stay middle of the pack and just hit the same notes over and over again. While there's nothing wrong with a little seasonal festiveness or being in the holiday spirit, I think a brew should have more than the time of year to justify its existence. But that's just me. I know there's a ton of love for the style and even if I don't share it, I hope the people that do are having a great time. I know what it's like to be silly happy over a seasonal release, especially when not everyone shares that joy. Far be it from me to hate on someone else's enjoyment of a good brew. Based on cap analysis, Ruby ranks the pumpkin and UFO best and despises any beer brand named for dogs. Happy drinking. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas on what we should review next, leave a comment.